video that powers the boat. American Empress boat. You get a better view of this big, huge wheel that I'm hoping that they're gonna spin. Hey, what's up guys? Purple Lotus sums it up. So it's a nice day today. Got a day off. Yesterday was super cold, like low 40s, probably maybe even high 30s from where we are. See a train going by here. So we're at the waterfront here in Vancouver. Washington State and uh, never been here right behind me there is a lot of different restaurants I just kind of uh, looked it up earlier today of things to do uh, near me and there's a lot of restaurants I noticed here but this is a beautiful place and you can see behind and the weather is so nice we're gonna stroll all the way down here we're gonna check out what the, uh, the uh, waterfront has to offer I'm on my way in where I parked right around the street. It was $1.25 for an hour, and I think it's like uh, $5 for four hours or something like that. There's a lot of uh, dive bars, Twins Beach, Twigs Bistro, Barlow's Public House. So we're gonna go walk down this way and check it out. Let's look behind me, in fact. As you can see, this nice bridge all the way down there. It's a nice beach area. Walk all the way down here. So in the evergreen state where we are, there's a lot of greenery everywhere. It's good to get out, get some therapeutic uh, stuff, you know, therapeutic relief from the ocean and, you know, from the waves. You know, I'm from Hawaii and it's the sun of the ocean. You know, we hear from when we're just little kids. So it's a great stress relief and uh, you know, the weather makes it feel like a Waimea town on the big island from where we're from. Yesterday was really cold. We gotta start getting some cold weather stuff. So let's go check it out down this way. It's really nice. I would say right now is maybe about 47 I think it was this morning. It's maybe 50s, mid 50s I would say right now. So it's a good chill to the weather. If I took my jacket off, then I would be too cold. That's how it feels right now. So this goes on for a great deal maybe, I have no idea actually. So you can see here they have Snack 571 Burger and Whiskey. So you can just imagine with you know this nice landscape that they have here and these high rises how illuminated it must be at night, the nightlife. We're gonna come back for sure uh, and check this out at night. See what they have down here in the Columbia River down here at the waterfront. So speaking of British Columbia, that uh that mentioned uh that sign thing mentioned earlier, we're gonna have some videos later in about three weeks coming from Canada uh, we're gonna be doing some vlogging some food vlogs we're gonna be doing some uh, maybe the Capilano suspension bridge in northern Vancouver in British Columbia this is so nice it's a nice day compared to yesterday like I mentioned it was like in the low 40s like it was cold like you needed gloves even this morning it was pretty cold but the sun started coming out at like maybe 7 30 at 8 o'clock so you could kind of tell there was going to get more heat out today. So just enjoying the sunlight. So many people here. Oh, there's a big boat down there. You can check it out. So yeah, more videos. Well, yeah, more videos, of course, but coming from Canada. It's going to be a first trip. 
north of the border to our friends, our neighbor to the north. So I'm excited about that. Oh, you can actually go down here. There's somebody down here. How did they get down there? Wow, let's go check that out. I want to see somebody else go down so I can go down the same way that they go down so I don't embarrass myself. Look, you can actually go down there. I somehow wish I just didn't bring this backpack. Probably. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, actually, I want to go for over there, yeah. Yeah, so we're going down. We see a bridge where you can go to by the boat down here. So we're going to do that instead of going down to the uh, sand. Come from a place anyway full of sand. So we'll get, uh, oh, that thing moves. Look at that. In the water. You see that? Yeah, somebody's sitting down on the end. That thing moves. Oh, their dogs, her dogs ran all the way down there. So we're going to see this American Express boat here and uh, see if we can get any access to it or near it. So here is the uh, waterfront park, waterfront parkway. So wow, yeah, her dogs are running. So you can see they started the boat. I assume that's what that smoke is. Maybe that big wheel is gonna start turning in one of these. Remember, like it reminds you of like one of those river boats that you see, like you know, like on on in history class or whatever that you thought existed way, way, way long time ago. That sounded kind of dumb, right? Let's go see it here. So it's the American Express from Camus. Wow, that wheel is actually really big. The wheel that powers the boat. Oh no, he just does it. Oh no. And we see the policeman going down uh, I thought he was gonna say something to the sunbather but no he just went down as part of his patrol all of his checkpoints to make sure everything is safe So I leave on this note of this waterfront tour. It's a beautiful place, bring your family, just hang out, read a book, enjoy yourself if you're ever down in this area. If you are in Portland, you can go across the bridge obviously. If you're anywhere in Seattle, it's about uh, two and a half hours away. And 
We're going to end with child sponsorship, of course. Cost $1.15 to pay it forward to bring a child clean water, immunizations, education, all of that stuff. Comment below, subscribe, give me on Twitter at PurpleLotus78, the channel. Put a comment below and let me know if you sponsor a child if you want any information. So coming to you here for the waterfront.